good morning well that's april and contrary to how i used to shop i'm just purchasing few things as i feel like we need them so my husband purchased some um let me move this out of the way purchased some cereals for the kids and pretty much he works at the grocery store and I told him to purchase some cereals and he didn't purchase the one he went to purchase the freezer bag the day before and peanuts so he purchased those cereals and spent about ten dollars on that so and during this coronavirus situation that we are in and we are at home, I'm trying to serve the kids uh, leftover food for breakfast. You know, they are eating it just fine. Like when I miss out the pizza and I have leftovers, they like to eat it for breakfast sometimes or sometimes they might eat it for lunch. And I'm just trying to stretch the milk. And usually we buy milk at Aldi and it's cheaper, but I don't want my husband, the, he's the one that does the shopping and I don't want him to be shopping from grocery store to grocery store. So he works at the grocery store and I said, well, what he can find at that grocery store, that's all he can get. He's already um, uh, working there. So, but still I'm trying not to serve them cereal every single morning. But we are low in cereal and we make some purchases on that so that I can have it on hand. But once again, I will cook like yesterday, I cook um, porridge just using cornmeal, water and sugar, boil it for five minutes and I serve it with roasted peanuts, insulted roasted peanuts. And that's what they eat for breakfast and later they ask for banana. So that's that and I have the cereal if I have milk I will serve them cereal a few times during the the week and that's all we use milk for but then I use milk in cooking like yesterday I made uh, cornbread cornbread for dinner cornbread and gravy ground beef gravy so I use the milk to make the cornbread and I use my homemade broth for the gravy and I add some flour to the meat and just add the um, broth to it and in that instance for example I can make the corn bread with broth I have made it the week prior or two weeks ago I use broth instead of milk so it all depends on um, what I'm cooking. So since I'm cooking something that requires milk, both the gravy could have taken some milk as well and the cornbread will use milk as well. So I just prefer to use milk on one and the broth on the other. So that's that. But rather than that, we don't drink milk at home. At least I don't serve milk to the kids to drink. I just serve them breakfast cereal sometimes and then I can use the milk in cooking some other times and other than that they can eat leftover leftovers for breakfast and lunch and then I'll cook dinner and when I cook dinner I cook uh, more than what we'll eat and I'll serve the kids their next day lunch first put in the fridge before I even serve dinner so it's not really leftovers it's intentional cooking dinner to be served as lunch and dinner dinner for that day and lunch the next day so that's how i cook and then if we have leftovers of other things i can serve it for breakfast depending on what it is if i think the kids are interested in it i can serve it for breakfast and i can even serve soup for breakfast i can serve wraps or egg rolls for breakfast you know the kids will eat it just fine so that's how i've been uh, keeping my expenses my costs down by uh, making sure we are using what we have at home on hand rather than shopping for what we want that are not necessarily a need since we can use up 
our supplies from home. So I wanted to stretch. We have three hundred dollars budget, one fifty for food and non food, and we have uh, sixty dollars for fruits and ninety dollars for meat. So I want to stretch that as much as possible by not spending a lot in April. So I'm just trying to spend on what I think we might need by just seeing what we can buy from where my husband works and then just hold on to cash as much as possible. And since we stock up usually at the beginning of the month uh, for, uh, and then we have some other things that we stock up for an extended period of time, we have some of those things on hand. I just want to just focus on using them. And I have freezer that has a lot of vegetables in it. Some, many came from my garden and many came from the store. So it's April and I'm start recording videos from my garden to share with you how you can lower your grocery bill by growing some of your vegetables. Yeah, so we have those greens in the freezer that we rely on. We rely on that uh, during winter time and we just continue doing the same thing. So I'm not buying some vegetables from the store at the moment, but just those staples that we need. Thank you for watching. So if you are in a financial um, uh, difficulties at the moment and you are trying to lower your costs, yeah, that's what that is working for me. And my kids are very young, four to nine, and they are pretty much used to my homemade cooking. So yeah, there are things they don't like. Some of them may not like soup, some of them I like it, and some of them may not like porridge. Some of some of them I like porridge, but either way, I sell them all the same thing and I just invite them to eat it regardless. So, I mean, I serve a lot to the one that doesn't, that don't like it, but I might serve more to the one that I enjoy. But they all will eat that before they will ask for something else. Thank you for watching. I hope you go through this and many people are losing their job. I'm lucky to work from home. And I just don't know for how long and I'm just trying to be proactive. I'm trying to be ahead of time of the situation. The last recession, I didn't have a job. So it was how we rely heavily on credit card to buy food. We didn't have any public assistance and it was quite difficult buying food with uh, credit cards and uh, in 2014 when we pretty much got out of it is when I found my job and since then I started uh, my home business but little by little and it's pretty much too recently that I say you know what I'm going to take it I'm going to work hard on it spend hours on it to just get it off the ground and I just I made that resolution shortly before we got here with this pandemic. So let's just hope that the situation will get better. We just want to stay safe and hopefully it will get better and we can get back on our regular activities. Thank you for watching. I'm Afiavi Ojune Libreman, creator of Libreman Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owner of Nina Soap. And our website is Nina Soap. Da come.